Hey, how's it going? It's Ollie here. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to create content that sells. In other words, how do you create content that turns someone who has no idea who you are into someone who knows, likes and trusts you and gets them to a point where they're eventually going to buy something from you? What does this really require? What steps you need to take to make this happen? How can you do it regularly? So for me, the content strategy I use in my business is very different from the way a lot of other people use content. You'll probably notice on this YouTube channel, I don't have that many subscribers. I only have 5,000 subscribers. And the reason why is because I haven't really focused on growing it. Like there's a lot of other experts out there who teach various stuff and they focus on really growing and expanding their YouTube channels. Um, that's a very powerful strategy. It's just not something uh, I focus on. So I want to walk you through like why I decided to do that, why I haven't really focused on growing my, my channel and what I did instead. And then you can make up your mind on, on what you want to do. So every time you make a piece of content, you have to decide the purpose behind making that content before you hit record on the device you're using. I'm using a DSLR right now, you could use an iPhone, doesn't really matter. What's more important than any of that stuff, the production value or whatever, is why are you making this content? Because if you're gonna sit down and shoot, well, write, then shoot, then edit and upload a piece of content and do the thumbnail, that's gonna be quite a lot of your time taken away from your business to create something. So the point I'm trying to make here is we don't just want to create content for the sake of it. We don't just want to be doing this for fun, even though it can be fun. We want to be a bit strategic. So in my experience, there's three main reasons you want to make a piece of content. And you have to decide which of these three types of content you're creating. Type number one piece of content is, the purpose of it is to get you more people into your audience. So this could be a blog post, this could be a podcast, this could be a video, um, it could be a social media post. And the entire purpose of this piece of content is to introduce new people into your world, to get you new leads. So the way you make this work is by looking for the type of pieces of content people are searching for right now, what's hot right now, what's hot generally. And the idea is that people stumble across your content, they find out about you, and then they enter into your world. This is the type of content you can make if you really want to grow your YouTube channel. Right? If you want to get more subscribers and just grow organically like that, that's the type of content you want to make. This is the type of content that you want to aim for it to go viral, right? You never plan for something to go viral, but that would be the type of content I would expect that would go viral if anything is ever going to. So how do you make that type of content to attract new people? Well, you want to think about the type of topics people are actively looking for on whatever platform it is, whether it's iTunes, YouTube, Google, whatever. Think about those topics. Make a piece of content around those topics. You can look for high volume keywords, you can look for titles and thumbnails that are already doing really well on YouTube um, and make something similar, right? And the key with this type of content is to make it really entertaining, fun to watch and not too heavy in terms of teaching, right? Because if you go too heavy into like really, really detailed step-by-step -step teaching, then people aren't going to sit down with their dinner and just watch it casually. Like they're going to have to sit down with a notepad and pen, really focus and pay attention. And people aren't usually in that state. So to create this kind of content, you want it to be light, frothy, fun, and 90% entertainment, 10% teaching. So I don't make much of that content, right? That's, that's not generally what I use my YouTube channel for. In fact, what I use it for is for the second type of content that you can make. That is content to give your current audience value. 
So for example, the reason I'm making this video right now is because I know you're already subscribed or you're already on my email list. And I wanna share some cool stuff with you to, to give you a reason to stay subscribed and just to you know, have the chance to bond with me more as I make videos and stuff, right? The more videos you watch of mine, I know that the stronger bond we'll make and um, it, that works wonders, right? Obviously I want you in, in my world. So creating videos like this, really helps with that. It's not the most entertaining thing in the world, right? But you're gonna learn a lot from it and therefore you'll get value and therefore you'll realize that I know what I'm talking about, hopefully, right? To some degree, right? And you'll put my stuff into, into practice, get results, and therefore the bond will be stronger. So that's the second type of piece of content you can make, right? These are usually less entertaining videos, more in-depth stuff, usually a little bit more advanced things, less, less clickbaity, more informative, right? In fact, my YouTube channel is full of content like that. So that's piece of content number two. Piece of content number three is more for selling. Now, it doesn't have to directly be something you're using to make a sale, but it's content that's made to actually create sales at some point point soon. So this could be a straight up advert, right? I've got a lot of adverts on my channel and I, most of them are unlisted so you can't see them. A few of them I've actually made public, like my fidget spinner advert, which has got like over a million views. It's made me $150,000 in book sales and it's just powered my entire Amazon coaching business for like two years. That is a piece of content that's designed to sell. Right? I walk you through why you shouldn't sell fidget spinners on Amazon, what you should sell instead. And I say, here's a handbook which shows you exactly how to find products that you should be selling because they'll sell for years. All right, it's very straight up, here's something I've got for you, do you wanna buy it type advert. That falls into the third category of content that's designed to sell. Another uh, example could be uh, a content that invites you directly to download some kind of lead magnet. All right, it could be, so the whole point of the video is I've got this amazing lead magnet, here's what's inside, and here's where you get it, right? So it's kind of to sell the lead magnet, right? The content, it's not to watch the video, it's to, to get you to click on somewhere else and go and grab this PDF or whatever. So those are the three pieces of content. So before you create something, sit down and decide which category does it fall into? Are you looking to get more people into your world? Are you looking to bond with your current audience? Or are you looking to sell something and make the whole video about the call to action. Now, I'm a firm believer of not making content for the sake of it, right? Not just randomly sitting down when you're eating dinner and just turning on the camera and saying, you know, oh, wow, this is amazing. Look what I'm eating, look where I am, blah, blah, blah. I feel that that does nothing for you and nothing for your business. It's just pointless, pretty much a waste of time. You might end up attracting people into your world with that type of content. You might end up, you know, having something for people to watch in your audience, but I don't think it does much for your business. You'll attract people that aren't interested in buying your stuff, you know. Um, the, you might, in certain instances, you might create a bond with people, but you won't position yourself as an authority, and therefore it won't in, encourage them to buy stuff for you, you know. Um, so yeah, most of my content falls into one of these categories, and it's because I've been very deliberate about it. So once you've decided what the purpose of your content is, then, then what do you talk about? How do you know what videos to shoot, what blog posts to write, what podcasts to record? Well, this is actually a very, very easy problem to deal with if you understand your customer avatar. If you know who your avatar is, i.e. the 100% ideal person who would buy your product, like who your product is made for, who your business helps, if you know that inside out, then you just have to ask yourself one question every time you hit record. And that is, what would my avatar want to hear? What would my avatar want to hear? If you know what your avatar would want to hear and the stuff in your videos lines up with what they want to hear, then your content will win. Right, and I'm not saying you know, tell them what they want to hear, as in 
if you're teaching how to build a business, then tell them that they can have 50 million fall into their lap in the next week. I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying what subjects are they interested in, right? What stuff do they, um, are, they, are they passionate about? What desires do they have that you can touch on to get them excited? What fears do they have that you can help them move away from? What problems are they encountering? What questions do they have, right? What do they want to know? If you can answer those questions, there's a real point in you making all of your content because it's going to be super valuable to the type of people who are actually going to buy from you, right? That's the type of content you should make. So decide whether your content is to get new people, to bond with your audience, or to sell something or do some kind of call to action. Then decide what you want to talk about and make sure it's something your avatar would want to hear. Put those two, two things together, you can make incredible content uh, for hours and hours and hours, never run out of ideas. And you can have a YouTube channel with hundreds of videos just like mine. All right, hope today was helpful. Hope I gave you some ideas for what to do in terms of content pieces. And hopefully it gave you an idea of what I do when I'm thinking about creating content. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you found this valuable uh, and you're gonna go out there, hit record and upload something today. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. Check out some more videos. I'll put them up on the screen at some point um, uh, so I can help you even more. And uh, hit subscribe if you haven't done, done so already to get updates and videos coming up soon. And I'll catch you very soon.